Hello and welcome to part 44 bazillion million of dwarfs. I, I'm just it's just it's just part four. I'm joking. Um, so today I was going to start doing base defense, which is essentially just tower defense. Um, it does say here that it is just tower defense if it decides to not crash. Um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, it is just tower defense. Um, but it's a bit different because enemies start spawning from everywhere. And you choose your little digger dwarfs, like what path they're going. I'll explain what I'm getting to. I did, I did one round. I didn't do too badly. Right. Okay. So, um, oh god. Right. Here we go. So this guy here is going to fucking dig to shit. So what I need to do is he's going to take the shortest possible route, as you see. So he, if I just left him to his devices, he would just zigzag to my base. I don't want that because it will be shit. Um, essentially, uh, I need to get him to here. Oh god, hang on. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and make a sort of a zigzaggy path, um, waste all my money on a path first, and, you know, fuck it, it don't really matter. Um, it's important to get the path done first, because, um, well, you can't dig a path later on, essentially. You only have four opportunities to make your path. So it's best to make it as sort of zigzaggy as possible. Um, make it go back and forth, make it go round and round. So I kind of want to make a spiral, um, but, uh, it's kind of... I don't. I need to save a little bit of money for a tower, at least one or two towers. So, um, we'll make it do this, um, and then we'll sort of make it uh, spiral round in a loop around the base, and that should be good because um, it makes them sort of loop around it. I could almost make them double back out of themselves. Um, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Just design it. Um, uh, where do I want to go from here? I don't want to go too far ahead because um, of these arrows wear out. Uh, so I kind of want to let the dwarf to catch up a bit. Right, okay, it should be right now. Um, so shall I? Uh, can oh god, have I fucked this up? Fuck it, that'll do. This will do. This th that'll do. Yeah, there we go. And then there we go. So that's what we're gonna have for now. This is gonna be our basic layout. Um, shit, I need to build a tower, don't I? Uh, these these towers are pretty good to start. Um, and it's best to build up towers around your base first because. Uh, more of these spawn points up here all over the map so I'm just going to put a tower here um, you can upgrade towers like as you'd imagine in most tower defense games so you spend money to upgrade it and it increases damage delay and stuff like that so all good right we'll speed this up get this dwarf to uh, dig out our path it's not too bad actually it could be worse right so they're going to zig down down here oh I could probably put another oh, do I no I'm not even going to bother in retrospect it may be a bad idea but I can upgrade. Shall I upgrade? If yeah, I could do that instead. So we'll just have one powerful tower to start off with. It should it should do the job. Um, when they get back round here, it should, oh fuck. Um, okay, let's get an arch tower. Um, we lost a little bit of damage already. I'm a bit. The first wave is always the fucking hardest. Um, little bit of a scrub there. I should probably upgrade so I don't die as much. I'll upgrade again. Oh god. Yeah, but the path is the most important. I may have lost a little bit of health now, but it will take a long time for me to lose more health. So what I'm going to do is be clever, and rather, um, rather than making another stupidly elaborate path, because um, you don't really need to, because I've already got sort of, the path here is not too bad. So what you do is you connect the paths together, and it saves you cash too. So uh, we're going to do this, and then he'll walk all the way around, blah, 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 done. So, well then, it's not as far, but we can still layer towers along here later on. Um, to I probably should have got made that closer to here and then sort of layered it around oh fuck why didn't I do that right I'll do that for the next one that was a bit newbie of me right you'll see why in a minute um another should I no I'll just upgrade I can't upgrade I don't have enough money oh fuck oh shit this isn't right okay upgrade upgrade uh right we'll be, we'll be fine we'll be fine it's just a load of horrible demon people um god they make horrible noises and the portals whirring away all the demons coming out uh, I can't even remember what wave I got up to last time so yeah, they can, I think they only come from, so another one will open up here in a minute. And one down here. But then I don't even, I don't know if later on even more open up, I have no idea. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully it should be enough for now. So this is like a laser beam and a standard arrow tower if you zoom, see them closer. So you can see them like firing away. Little animations moving about. And basically we have to stop our base being destroyed. We lost one bar of health, but that's not too bad. Um, oh shit. Uh, now we're going to be, we're going to be fine. Um, we just need more towers, really, but uh, the path more important. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, right? Okay, so I'm going to be like, in fact, no, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him for a second. Um, I'm going to let him dig closer to it, and then he gets close, saves me money, right? 
uh, about here, about here, yeah, okay, so we're going to go like this, and then we're going to go like this, so we've got a double spacing, drag it along, alright, then we're going to drag it around here, drag it along here, along here, there we go, look at that, so now, um, if I put a towel here, it will attack this wave, and it will hit them again the next time they come round, so I should have done that with this as well, really, but I didn't, so it doesn't matter. And I, that's a shorter route. Well, it's still quite a, like intense route. Cause it's gonna be quite a lot of towels on here. So I reckon I want another. Uh, oh god, what do I want? What towel do I want? Um, decide. A light, a list, a lick. I haven't built one of these before. Let's just fucking build one of these. We'll see what the fuck it does. Um, a lich tower. What does it do? Fires ghastly sludge at enemies, slowly draining monsters nearby. Oh, it does damage. That's pretty good. So it's like, also like a splash damage effect. Oh, that's good. That, that, I like that. That's fine. I thought it might have been a slowing. T oh god, slowing towers. I never even used them before. That's probably why I died last time. But yeah, this this area here later will be just be intense. Um, maybe I should have. Oh god, never mind. I could have attached it to there, but there wouldn't be as much damage. So I'm going for a, sort of a shorter route, more DPS. Um, if that makes sense to anybody, you know the old damage per second. Right, I want to do the same here. But should I connect it to this bit, or no? I'm gonna right. We're gonna get him to go like this, then like this, and then like this. So all the ones on the top are gonna sort of have much further to go, um, which should be an advantage. And the, I'm gonna have to like load out a shit ton of towers on the bottom because it's kind of fucked up a bit. But um, not as many towers up here because they'll be like sort of delayed, if that makes sense. So I've got the old. The Facebook message. Um, probably David. Yep, definitely David. <laughs> right, I'll leave that. Um, so we've got the waves coming in. Um, do I? What, I might try and build some of these. Oh, the, I remember building one. A missile tower was very good. Um, it has such long distance. So what I might do is get a missile tower like here, and it can sort of take out all of that area. They, they have a big range, like really big. So that's what I'm going to probably get. Um, or do I? Oh, it's difficult to decide whether to get towers closer to my base first or further away. Um, one thing I know I need is a spike tower because um, these are these are weird ones. Um, so there's stealth enemies um, who are invisible to normal towers, but these towers reveal them because the spikes just are constantly stabbing. So as you zoom in, so these spikes are constantly stabbing. You see. Um, so when something goes over, it is revealed its position because uh, they're screaming agony as a fucking spike jams up their ass. I mean, I, I would, it's fucking up. And um, basically, that, that reveals their position to these towers, who can then fire upon them. Otherwise, they don't get fired upon, I don't think. Which is a bit of a pain in the arse. Um, and I didn't realise that fact, and they all got to here and started like, beating the shit out of my base. Um, not the best, really. Yeah, so as you can see now, the base is the, 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 blah, 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 the spawn point's recycling. So, later on, I can put towers up in here, if I don't die, that is, hopefully. Um, so speed it up. So this tower's not effectively like it's not that damaging as such. I mean, seven damage is all right, um, but it's just sort of it's a useful tower to have. It, it slows and not doesn't slow them down. It reveals enemies. So if I have loads of towers built around here, it should be fine. So we've got more coming up from here now. So the sludge tower is going to take some health off of them from this side and that side. Um, the main problems I had last time were the boss waves. Um, because I wasn't really aptly prepared. So, right, um, I reckon I want um, another one of these towers soon because they can fire on a lot of enemies at once. So just, they're rapid fire, low damage, which is good for the early waves. You don't want something slow firing when there's lots of little like, enemies around. So. Oh. so we'll stick that here as well around the revealing tower and we'll start upgrading some of them. Actually, no, we'll, we'll build masses of towers first, then we'll upgrade. So high HP wave. See, that's the worst kind of wave in my opinion um, so they, they take quite a long time to kill but we should be fine because it's only early days we're on wave what uh, eight um, it's which when you have the tanks that you have to be worried like careful because they get to here and they just tank the damage and just do so much damage to your base so right come on So we're doing alright so far. We only we only lost health on the first wave because I didn't really I was focused more on designing the pattern of the maze rather than um right so two gates again. They're probably gonna increase damage. Um 
I don't know what towers I should get now. Or whether I should upgrade or buy. No, I definitely need more. Um, I may invest it in a missile tower on like here because then it's going to take. Yeah, that's a good. That's a really good idea. Actually, I'm going to do that. Um, it does splash damage, which is good, obviously, and um, it they just have such a massive like blast range. So that's what I'm going to get next. Um, you, you'll see how big a range it can get when you upgrade it later. It's like ridiculous. See, here we go. This is the stealth waves. Look, these guys are invisible. Uh, they're laughing. They're like, ha ha. You can't see this. Well, wait till you get a fucking spike in your ass. Look, we're going to wait for it. I'm going to see if they scream. Oh, no, they're not. But let's see. Look, they're, they're revealed now because they're, they're spiking their ass. And yeah, let's just kill them. There we go. So that was a good investment having that. Because last time they got to my base and just started punching down my front doors. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Um, right, we need 400 gold. So we're nearly there. And then we'll put the, the old missile tower down. Boom. Die, die, die. Right. Wave 13. Unlucky for some, not for me. This is gonna be good. So this is this is not got a great range at the moment, but when upgraded, it, this range does increase quite dramatically. Um, it goes up to like 10 or 15 later on. Um, so let's just see what it does. We'll, we'll slow it down. So it's taking a, it's not doing a huge amount of damage. Well, it is, but um, it's sort of splashing splash damage. It's, it's good. For, if you, I imagine if you had a couple of them, it'd do a lot of lot of damage. So we can upgrade this now. So see, its range has increased quite a lot again. Um, its damage has gone up. It's delay is not even that bad either. The delay on these is the best. Really short delay. So it just fires constantly. So we'll get up to wave 20. If I'm still alive and haven't lost much health, then we'll call that episode 1. And we'll come back and just see how long I can physically survive. And then um, if you have any like tactics for me once I've died, um, I'll try them next time. And I'll, I'll maybe give this like 2 or 3 attempts to see how high a level I can get to. But I sort of... Oh, see, this is the problem. These bastards. Um, do I want to upgrade the Lich Tower? The lich, uh, lich uh, or do I want to put? No, we're gonna upgrade it. Um, I see this guy, that's a fucking dickhead, you fucking disgusting ogre thing. Oh, that's that's. No, oh, hasn't really done a lot of damage. See, look, it's done like no damage. Oh god, god damn it, god damn. Hopefully the missile tower does some damage to it before it. See, even the missile tower's not doing that much damage to it. Um, that is. This is the problem I had last time. Uh, it's got a lot. He's gonna get and do some damage to my base. Um. There's not a lot I can do because I haven't got any gold left and I don't want to sell my towers. Um, so he's going to beat on it a bit. Oh, god damn it. Taking half my... Right, that wasn't, that wasn't the best. Oh, I should, that's why I needed more towers, really, but never mind. Um, rather than powerful towers. Mm, just to give like constant damage to him, but... Oh, god, that, way, that wave went so fast. Right, okay. 17 now. There's a shit ton of... Oh, my god, there's a lot of enemies. Um, do you want to upgrade this again? I can't. Or do I need to build more of these, really? I need... F I reckon... Or do I want... Oh, God, I don't know what to build. It's a difficult choice. Um, these are good for the corners, though, obviously, because they only, like, go in a square area. Or or maybe here? No, best for the corners. Um, oh, God. Um, we'll upgrade this again. This is a good tower. Um, 38 damage. Firing the old rockets. Oh, God, that rocket tower is actually good. Oh, God, that is a really good tower. Um... I should probably build another one, actually. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build another one. Oh, shh. Oh, fuck. Oh, gee, Jesus Christ. Um, We'll get one here. Do your worst. Oh, God. I shouldn't have said that. They're going to fucking... Oh, no. Oh, God. Lucky I put that there. Um, Oh, God. Right. 250 gold. Rave 20. This is this is the last wave before... um. I'll end episode one, and then we can see how long I can survive in episode two. Probably not very. Um, well, the things aren't going too bad. It's just that fucking boss rave just owned me. Uh, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Okay, um, this has been episode one. Thanks for watching, and please come back for the next part.